I'm Captain Christine Morales. I'm with the Salvation Army Southwest Division, and we're here at a hydration station. And um, our hydration program started um, three years ago, after um, the summer of 2006, when there were many deaths from the um, high heat of the Phoenix area. And so, as a result of that, we started a hydration station, and they are located now in um, 13 locations across the Valley of the Sun. There are nine. Um, standard locations, and then there's four that are like this, tents that move into the area where there's a great need. And the purpose of the hydration program is, first of all, to hydrate, to educate, and then to make referrals so people can get to a, um, a place that will be safe for them. And um, our volunteers and our staff do, do a good job of that. Dur throughout the summer, um, we serve over 14,000 individuals and with over 100,000 bottles of water, 100,000 bottles of water. Um, many people, um, as they come up to our hydration stations, they leave with two bottles of water because in the extreme heat, one, you know, is, is rarely enough. And so we, we try to do whatever we can to make it a safe um, place for them. The triggers for our, our um, hydration stations to be open are when the National Weather Service issues an extreme heat warning. So that I guess there's five factors that make that up, and that's when people are most in danger of dehydration. So our stations are operated. Um, you can see right now they're, they're manned by volunteers, and so we have people um, by volunteers and officers and employees that um, take care of the people that are in need um, with the hydration issues. We're located in 13 different areas in the Valley of the Sun. Nine of the areas are at our Salvation Army facilities throughout the Valley, and those are manned by um, employees and officers and volunteers, and people that um, are in need of hydration can come into those facilities. Um, there are also four parks in the Phoenix area where people um, are very vulnerable to the dehydration on the hot days. They spend a lot of time outside in the sun. And so those are the areas we go right into those areas and we are passing out water. And just a few minutes ago someone came by and got several bottles of water and some ice. And um, it's a good way to keep them healthy and keep them going.